Hello traders, hello everyone and welcome to our new video surfing daily ways where I'll look at some of the most interesting developments for this week. This video has been brought to you by Orbex. I will look at Euro versus US dollar versus pound, dollar versus no German DAX and silver. So as you know, markets have seen a um, very nice bounce uh, stocks while the US dollar has seen some sell off since the North Farm Paris report came out better than expected last Friday. Um, however, the real mover was caused by ICM figures, which came below 50. So it looks like that there is a, an economic contraction. And this means that investors believe that um, Powell uh, is approaching the end of the cycle. They should not be that aggressive anymore, which after all makes sense because the inflation has come to the downside in the recent months. Um, however, we have a new data coming out tomorrow from the US regarding the inflation. So this one should be very important to know if we really stocks could see potentially stabilization. Let's say that number comes um, comes out very good. It means that inflation will continue to, down, to the downside. Then it means that uh, Fed should be less hawkish and this could be supportive for stocks while the US dollar could see further weakness. And this has been the case for the last um, for the last few months. Uh, we are also we're seeing a very strong reversal to the downside to some of commodities. Um, so in my opinion, yes, inflation could come to the downside. This could have a bearish impact on the US dollar. If we look here at the overlay chart since um, since Friday moves, you can clearly see that everything is correlated. We even see some nice bounce on cryptocurrencies. Um, here we have gold, which is very strong. Silver is lagging a bit. It's not here. Uh, also, but the main uh, market that I want to pay attention on is probably dollar versus NOC. No, notice that NOC was very strong here. One of the strongest since Friday. Okay, when stocks turn to the ups. So if stocks will continue to the upside, I think that NOC could actually uh, see more strength versus the US dollar. And now since I mentioned this pair, let's take a look on the wave structure. Now here we have um, some very nice recovery back to, to 61, almost to 78.6% uh, of that drop from a pandemic high. So these were really strong resistance where prices were rejected. So what we are seeing right now is a broken trend line. So in my opinion, there can be more weakness coming. Also, there is a potential head and shoulders top building here. So clearly, I would be looking for a retest of the levels from a left shoulder, which would be here at 9 0.5 level. So that would be my downside objective for the next few weeks, of course, while we are trading below that trend line. Okay. Also, uh, if you look uh, at the wave structure here, it was not really that overlapping, especially not in the middle of that move. So maybe some would argue that this is actually an ongoing impulse and that this is just a wave four and we'll see more upside. In fact, I prepared this wave count as well uh, for better interpretation here regarding the whole price action. You can see that this CS could be a wave four, but even this wave four uh, could see more weakness here, okay? Because the, this bounce is looking corrective. So even if I have a bullish count of you, still, I think that there is a, re a chance for a retest of 50%, maybe even for more wave four here, which is normally the case when you have um, these support wave pullbacks, they will try to then take the price back into the area for former wave four. So that's right here, okay? Um, so even if, with this bullish count, as I said, there is room for more weakness in the short term. If you look here on um, on that, uh, let me switch to the four hour time frame. If you look here, you can see that that was a very nice bounce from that low here, clearly in three waves. There was an extension higher for a wave C with nice five waves up. Uh, but what's the most important is that this was a very strong move, right? Very strong. So when you have see such a strong move, what you would expect that after some kind of a pullback, the market will resume into this direction. If this is not the case, but on the other hand, you see even more powerful drop in just very short period of time, which erased all of the previous gains. Well, normally that's a bearish reversal signal. Signal. Okay, so in my opinion, I think that there is room for more weakness here after the current rally. Also, keep in mind that we traveled back beneath this wave A level, right? 
so it means that there was an overlap so there is no chance for a bullish impulse at this point so i'm looking for this wave to potentially to move into the resistance the 51 the 50 percent retracement that's uh comes in around 1007 1005 around there and notice that this land okay from that recent swing low from this week close comes in around this level as well and this land was taken from a wave b pullback so it looks like that these projections could potentially limit the upside here also you have this resistance as well when looking back from early december so 1007 1005 that's the key resistance for this pair of course i will stick with this bearish view as long as we are trading below that resistance here that was also retested here back um back uh, last week okay now um let's take a look also on let me just delete this uh let me take a look also on the euro dollar as we said uh, so um euro dollar in my opinion still in a very nice uptrend uh, there were some dovish comments uh, from the ECB in the last 24 hours from some kind of some members. Um, however, euro dollar still could stay in uptrend. There is a 10% inflation in in the eurozone, so clearly they will have to fight this. Um, and in my opinion, there should stay hawkish unless the economic data will dramatically worsen. Then obviously they will make a step back. But regarding the wave structure here, still looking at the fifth wave, we broke this channel resistance looks like that there is room for 109 level uh, so watch out for potential channel retest here um, around 107 is a potential support on the next dip but keep in mind that we are in a fifth wave after all we already breached a new high so yes there's ideal projection around 109 but still there can be some pullback coming okay uh, maybe even higher degree if something unexpectedly happens and sends the US dollar higher um, but regarding as I said regarding the euro it's strong, it also shows some strength versus the pound. Okay, we are seeing very nice ongoing recovery here after this free wave of a setback, very nice support at 87.80. So it looks like that we are in a fifth wave now trying to breach uh, this resistance here around 88.70, and then potentially we could even rally towards uh, this level around 109 where I have some pips here. Uh, regarding the bigger picture, uh, nothing really, uh, nothing really uh, exciting. I mean, we are still just consolidating with this triangle, and the recovery that we are tracking can be just a temporary bounce uh, within this mess here. Okay, so I'm not expecting any kind of a major move here on, on uh, in 2023. But in the short term, as I said, looks like there can be more upside. This just confirms the fact that euro uh, is doing better than pound. So maybe if you want to short. The US dollar, maybe euro, uh, is a better choice rather than pound. Um, now, let's take a look also on DAX. So, as we said, um, markets are in risk on mode. DAX is clearly killing it. It's making a very nice move to the upside. And uh, looking here, it looks like that we are now trading in a way free. I really thought, but I got wrong this one. I really thought that we will stop here at the resistance at the start of the year and then turning down before resuming higher. So, I was wrong on this one, but just I mean, this is how sometimes how the market works. You have to listen uh, to the price action rather than just fight your bias here. So in my opinion, we are in a way free because this lag is now clearly getting and becoming extended. Uh, we breached a new high. So watch out for potential pullbacks here. Um, let's say in the next, in the next uh, two weeks or so, maybe we'll see this way for and then final push to the upside, maybe even uh, breaking above 15,000. So 15,000 is currently now resistance that could cap the price here for a way free and then send the way for pullback in play here. Okay. But clearly we're in a risk on mode. US stocks are lagging a bit, but uh, I think that after maybe slightly lower prices on US stocks, that's also when this way for could play out on DAX. That's when both US stocks and German DAX could also move higher into them. But we will see. US CPI data is tomorrow. We'll see what will be the, the reaction. Now, let's take a look also on silver. Now, silver is um, here making some very nice recovery. We currently are testing this upper resistance, not really broken out yet. But uh, what's important is that we are already seeing some kind of a impulsive characteristics. However, we still want to see this breakout to make sure that we are really headed higher. We bounced earlier from that 61.8% back in 2022. 
in September. So looks like that this could be could be a potentially very nice uh, trade below, and we could see more upside on pullbacks. Now looking at uh, at the four hour chart, this one is very interesting. Um, in my opinion, notice that uh, after this uh, flat correction here for a wave two, okay, we have seen then very nice extensions to the upside. Okay, this could be very nice impulse impulse wave. Notice that after a first failure failure breakout here, we have seen a successful breakout back in December. Okay at the end of November, start of December, and then even retest the same upper trend line. And normally that's when that's the case, okay, when in uptrend prices are breaking above the bullish channel, it means that recovery is very strong. So in my opinion, this can represent wave three. So more gains will be expected after a wave four pullback. But because keep in mind that uh, impulses normally will have this third wave like an extended. So I think that uh, then there can be more upside coming after this pullback that this already unfolding. Now, sometimes it's tricky. We don't know what kind of a wave four uh, pattern we'll see. We could be seeing maybe some conver some kind of a triangle if price will remain sideways here. Uh, keep in mind that we also have a divergence or we will see a deeper prices. Uh, which could make sense because this was more like a flat. So maybe uh, we'll see a ABC zigzag here uh, for a wave four. Uh, a very nice support on dips would be around 22.20 .20 or 22.50. But if we hold this support, as I said, and we're just chopping around, then maybe triangle could also be uh, could also be interesting. However, gold is currently breaking to new high, but silver is not following yet. So it means that gold silver ratio is moving to the upside. Normally, that's not really um, that's not really uh, bullish for metals. Okay, so I think that it's a consolidation period. Metals, uh, sorry, gold could see also some kind of a pullback if we get this wave C to the downside. But keep in mind that metals, in my opinion, could do very well this year. And that this just any kind of a pullbacks could be just temporary before market bounces even higher traders thank you very much for attention i hope that you enjoyed this video please give us a like here below the video if you're watching this on youtube or leave us some kind of a commentaries also you can um, send us some kind of a questions and we will be happy to answer have a good day and bye